The 2019 MacBook Pros just got launched a couple days ago, and the 13-inch version with the touch bar got a decent spec bump, and the 15-inch got upgraded to Intel 9th generation i7s and i9, all with 8 cores as a standard. inch model. I bought this because I needed it for school. It was the cheapest model with the touch bar, so it only has 8GB of RAM and 256GB of SSD storage and Intel Iris Plus graphics 655. It is not the beefiest computer at all by a long shot, but that's why I have my iMac. All right, just let me cut open this box, and there we go. All right, look at that plastic. You hear that? It's so good. All right, so when you lift up the box, oh yeah, look at that finish. Oh, it looks amazing. And when you lift it up, just hear that plastic peel off. Nothing can ever be more satisfying than this. And by the way, the last MacBook I've ever had is the MacBook Air from 2013. It's quite outdated now, so I decided to get this as an upgrade. Underneath the MacBook is a 2 meter long USB-C to USB-C cable. This is made for charging, but you can also transfer files. Although it's not that fast. Obviously, you get those standard pamphlets with instructions on what to do. Although I never read this, seeing the illustrations is kind of cool. And this is what I paid $3,000 for. The Apple stickers. Obviously. Underneath all of the paperwork, you can see the charging brick. In this case, mine is 61 watts. However, for other MacBooks, or for the 15 inch, you might get a higher or lower wattage. If the video just ended here, it would have been really, really boring and unsatisfying, which is not what I want to do. So here's an unboxing of the sleeve I bought for it. This is a denim sleeve by Incase, which they only sell at the Apple store. It was $109 here in Canada. And I really appreciate all of the small details that went into this. It is a perfect fit for my 2019 MacBook Pro. And it's actually made of premium denim material unlike those other fake fabric. I had a few bucks left over, so I also bought this rugged USB-C 2TB hard drive from Lassie. Upon opening the box, you would see two pieces of other small packaging. One contains the hard drive itself, and the other one contains the manual and the two cables it comes with. This is rugged because of that orange rubber that surrounds it. It prevents it from breaking from shock, and it gives it a little bit of water resistance too. One of the two cables I mentioned earlier is USB-C to USB-C. It's the orange one, so it's easier to identify. The black cable, however, is the standard USB-A to USB-C. This is if your computer doesn't have a USB-C port. Of course, there's some manuals as well. But we don't have to worry about that because it's just manual, you know? It's a hard drive. We all know what hard drive does. The setup of the computer is very, very simple. 
all you have to do is to just open up the lid of the computer and it automatically boots up. You don't even have to press any button, which is a nice touch. And look, I'm so cool in the reflection. You can just see me. Of course, you still can't see my face because why would I show my face, right? All right, and just wait until it fully boots up. There we go. So it's asking for the language I speak, which obviously is English. So return, there we go. Wait until it finishes. Oh, you can see the touch bar, it's so cool. And it's taking a while, but yeah, there we go. Where am I? I am in Canada. Return. Mac OS oh my gosh, what? Screen reader called voiceover. If you know how um, to use voiceover, press the command key while you press touch ID three times at the right um, end of the touch bar. To learn how to use voiceover, <laughs> to set up your Mac, tap escape this is so the strange. The touch bar. Oh yeah, it does this. I forgot. Well, let me finish setting it up first. Wow, that was a process. Now that that's done. Oh hey, look, you can see me in the reflection. We can see how the touch bar works. Yeah, so that's the touch bar. Just an OLED screen above the keyboard that removes the function key. That just sounds so satisfying. Wow. So this has been the unboxing and first impressions of the MacBook Pro 2019. Oh, and by the way, the entire video was edited solely on this machine. And the audio you're hearing right now is from the microphone of this machine too. You probably didn't even realize it because it's that good. So yeah, I think this device has plenty of potential and I am excited to do my review of it. So be sure to stay around by subscribing so you don't miss that video. Also, why don't you just click on something shown on screen right now? It helps me so very much. All right then, this is the whole video, so goodbye.